Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and today we have a update of what is to come and what's happened and why I haven't really been uploading any videos really in the past I would say about four or five weeks I think it is so basically I have been really condensing my collection down um, really not needing some of the stuff I have and so I thought I would take some of the stuff away put it um, in a box in the cupboard or just get rid of it um, so I put them all to one side so I'll give you a pan of what is the collection is like now and in the next few weeks I'll hopefully be doing my TNA DVD collection once I get um, the latest release through the post I still haven't received it yet so once that arrives I'll do that then then in July um, obviously with money in the bank gets released at the very end of of june i think it is so i normally do mine in the first of july so i might wait till money in the bank arrives then i'll do the duty dv collection but it'll still be in july it just might be a few days late depending on when i receive it so i'll give you a quick little tour of what the collection is like now obviously at the top we have all the different releases from xpw to the highest dvds to 3PW, some AW Blu-rays, then we have some of ROH and Evolve. Uh, this is a new release I've just gotten in the last few days. The the real the legend the Sheik. Uh, so thank you to T DJ Taz316 for that. Uh, he showed us on he got it, then he sent us a link to it. So please go and check his channel out. He's just upload a video of some of the science stuff he's got so please go and give him a sub then we have some of the ECW collect Delta collection we all them really not some of them um, some of the misprints of TNA um, the TNA ones they got the original ones then in, in the these ones now I have took away the UK ones I just have the US ones in here now rather than having them double up uh, second to norm one is their double but i've kept that there because it's signed but i've took all the i've replaced some of them with the us ones not all of them so it all goes down to there now and originally it was round about here so i've saved some space there then we move into some of the uk promotions there i've just said that we should be jam-packed in there and i've saved some space now move on to the WB ones again the steel books at the top with the pit of views and the box sets then we move to the next one down which is some re-releases and some of the special limited edition releases um, these are the ones that I'm keeping because Clash of Champions Attitude Era I've got exclusive DVD extras the Blu-ray doesn't In Your House is signed by Kane and the straight at the top Money in the Bank anthology um, the slip cover, what I have in a frame, is signed by Dolph, so I've kept that. Then we move on to the annuals and the US and Canada releases. And say the same is the tag classics and the anthologies and some of the one disc sets. Then we move to the pay per view all the way along to the last release of Super Showdown. So that really hasn't changed so pit views I've got all that space and that one to go then the comps and docks has changed a lot so the comps and docks has gone down to there now and I've took out the lives in the UK and I put them with the other specials and things so originally that there was round about here somewhere I think it was so I've gained all of that and all that shelf there to there to get rid of the that's all these ones here all them dvds i have on blu-ray so the other ones that i'll be likely getting rid of and i say i might keep one like the cm punk one i don't know yet but i've took out the main ones that have extras on the blu-rays done so i'll put them to one side so it has constantly down so once they go all that will be free up all along there and on that shelf now I've just put the movies, the UMDs, 
the CDs and obviously the specials and lives in the UK so that is what it looks like now so that's what I've been doing and um, obviously I have been making a list as well uh, I've been doing this for quite a while now but not all the time it's been gaps of months where I haven't started and basically I've got all the releases from the specials to the standard releases where it tells you like the name the cat number and um, how the run time is and the release day and I've done that for the Fremantle one but the Silvision one I'm just going to probably just put the cat number and um, the discs how many discs there are if it's in DVD and Blu-ray and the run time I'm not the don't think I'll bother with the release dates on them ones so that is what I've been doing that's why I've never really been uploading much because I've been trying to sort this one out so obviously down there be, um, probably about 30 or 40 releases there that is condensed down and I've got a whole lot of space back so obviously if I want to watch one of them I've got them on Blu-ray I'll rather go for the Blu-ray than the DVD so there's no really point in having them um, from now on I'll only be like I've been doing the last few years now I'll get it I'll only get the DVD if it's on DVD only if it's on Blu-ray I get Blu-ray if it's a special edition that's when I'll buy them from like that it'll be like Wrestlemania Um, I've got I pre-ordered the DVD with it being the alternate cover and I've also got the artwork for the blue the alternate artwork for the Blu-ray but I'll keep the DVD sealed but the Blu-ray I will open and obviously unboxings will be coming for Money in the Bank, Elimination Chamber and Wrestlemania and I will be doing, starting to do some sort of reviews again I'll go back to the pay per view ones year by year and I'll do individuals so yeah guys I hope you like this video I hope you like, like what's coming I hope you like the way it is now and if you've got any videos any reviews you want to look at just drop a comment down below Um, I've also started collecting photos for Instagram because over the past two weeks I thought I want to get back on there again and obviously I've started on Twitter doing a bit more on there so I thought two weeks ago I'll start taking pictures of putting stuff on there because I went through it all deleted some and I'm on putting some up that I haven't put up there before so I will be using Instagram a little bit more now I said unboxings are coming collection videos are coming and yeah we'll see what else happens basically um, I've got another few few episodes of the errors and mistakes hopefully that um another part that'll be coming very soon um because i found a few more and some of the people have let us know of, of some more so yeah guys that is it for this one uh sorry about the rambling on so till the next video please like subscribe comment and i'll catch you in the next one